Hello everybody, how is it going? So, this uh, this is not looking like the sim, what's going on here? <laughs> um, so I, I finally have a match from locals. Uh, this is, we're both undefeated, this is round four I think, it was a, it was a smaller locals. Uh, I win the dice roll, like a beast. I know uh, there's kind of a bit of glare, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Uh, I wasn't really thinking about it when we were recording. Here you can see my leader a bit better when I put him back down. Obviously I'm on law, come on. My opponent on Nami. Pretty impressive he was undefeated, but this is uh, definitely not an easy matchup for him. These are actually It's actually one of my buddies at Locals. He's actually uh, starting a YouTube, so I'm definitely going to leave that in the description. Him and uh, another friend from Locals that actually recorded it for me, or this match for me, and him. You know, he might upload this. We'll see, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, big shout-outs to them. Uh, I'll definitely link uh, his YouTube in the, the description. Check him out. I'm going to, I assume, be making mostly card game related videos so <laughs> might enjoy it but uh he starts off with a hey what man what's her name <laughs> it's escaping me kaya there we go starts off with a kaya chucks an all-stars and a rubber band all-stars is always a good discard cannot complain with that uh if i remember correctly i think i just i don't start with searchers i think it's just two blockers here yeah chopper and I think another chopper. Yes, sir. And we'll just pass it right back. But, uh, yeah, definitely want to do more of these types of videos. I think, uh, I, I much prefer playing in person than the sim, obviously. I feel like most people do. So, um, I'm gonna try my best to get my own, like, tripod and stuff like that and start recording at locals. But, uh, for now, with the, the help of the boys, at least able to get this video. Cannot complain. He goes Kaya again. And passes it right back to me. One thing about this matchup, uh, we don't get to see our life, really. Unless we take like a hit from the Zeph. So, we pretty much see our opening five. In this case, we saw six because we were going second. And we just kind of have to play with what we're given. And if I remember correctly, my hand was like... It was double chopper. I think I had like two bonnies and a blocker law. And I think the, the brook I might have just drawn or had. I'm not, I don't quite remember. But uh, not seeing searchers, at least red searchers, I guess could be a little bit tough. But Nami kind of gives you a lot of time to set up. So I was kind of okay with taking the double bonnie hand. Especially because you can also just kind of play her in this matchup. And the worst that happens is she just gets bounced to hand. So. Not the worst. But he plays down a Zeph, bounces his Kaya. I know it's kind of hard to see, but that is a Zeph. An alt art Zeph at that. <laughs> Last turn, we just end up swinging 9 after playing a Brook. Don't have many other plays. Didn't want to play a Bonnie. Although I definitely could have. Honestly, would have given me more room to uh, for Dawn this turn. Could have been a misplay. Probably was, in all honesty, but it's alright. We'll, <laughs> we'll make it through. Uh, probably just going 5 at life, can't really spare any Dawn on the attack. Not that we really want to. I honestly, I feel like the numbers you want to swing at Nami are 5s and like 9s. Because uh, 5, a lot of the time they'll have to over counter. And 9s, they need a 4k counter plus something else. So they just feel the most efficient to me. But we'll play down a Bonnie. See what we pick up. Grab a Zoro. That's pretty good. And find, pretty sure I already have a blocker law. So that goes great with the blocker law. Still have three down to work with, or four, I think it's four. Yeah, it's four. I'll play down a Machino, boost up one of the choppers. I will use your leader effect. Take back the Machino. Play the blocker law. Take back the Bonnie. Play the Zoro. And we'll swing five at life. Thinking about countering here. Uh most of like the 1Ks in his deck are like Bellamere, Zephs, and like I don't I don't think he's playing Buggy, but I think he's playing some of the other East Blue stuff. And yeah, he chucks one of the I think it's a two cost blocker that like mills one when uh, it goes to Grave from Field. So honestly, pretty solid blockers are really good. And uh, we will swing with a chopper because I mean why not? <laughs> we won't really need a blocker this turn. I mean Zeph is kind of scary, so. Uh, there is definitely that to note, but we still have one active chopper, and we now have our blocker law. So he'll tap one, play another Kaya. Probably the one he just bounced back from the Zeph last turn. Draw two. 
see what he discards. Ends up discarding a breakfast. And let's see what else. And a Daz Bones, Mr. One. Alright, so he still has how much time to work with? He should be at seven right now. So he still should still have six. So he can go pretty big with Zeph if he wants to maybe I don't know. Going big with Zeph doesn't sound like the play when I have a chopper blocker. So maybe if he has an answer to the chop chopper, then he can go big on the Zeph, maybe try to out my law. Or make me drop a lot of my hand. But if I'm remembering correctly, I think my hand is <laughs> mostly no counter. I think I just have a bunch of blocker laws. He'll play down the Nojiko and bounce my blocker law. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And then he'll tap, I believe that was another two. Yeah, to play Brickfist to bounce my chopper. He'll put one Don under Zef and swing at my life for seven. I think there's definitely a debate to go for my Zoro there. Uh, I understand, you know, mill seven. It's kind of crazy, but uh, he did see I had the the Machino, and he could probably assume I have a one K at least in the Bonnie. I don't know. I don't think I would have wanted to drop the Bonnie, but either way, I think I was defending whether he went at my Zoro or my life. So either one, I think, is fair to go for. But we're going up to, I believe, eight dawn now. Can't see my leader. I move it over. There you go. <laughs> uh, I'll, de I'll definitely work on recording these. I gotta get a setup of my own to really figure it out. But yeah, I, I am aware that the glare is kind of a bit obnoxious. Sorry about that. Also, with the little cuts, we kind of had to break this video up to, <laughs> to to send it to me, my friend. So, yeah. No, don't worry, you're not really missing anything. We'll just probably be a, a bit jumpy for a second. So we'll go six out of Zeph. Just kind of trying to eat some of the counters from his hand. Also, don't want to deal with the Zeph swing every turn. I really can't. I do have the chopper, but he could potentially have more answers to the chopper. But he'll spot a look at the top three and keep him on top. So, got to be at least decent. I go one dawn on my Zoro and attack Zeph for six again. He'll 1k out with a uh, Daz Bones. I'll tap one, replay the chopper that got bounced. Tap one for my Bonnie. Tap another to use the Bonnie. See what we find. We can kind of see. We see Restand Law, Law, Bonnie, Otama, and Bedj. I'm probably just taking another blocker law. I definitely consider taking a Restand Law. But just because he has the Zeph on board, I kind of just want to keep getting my blockers. And I do have the Zoro, so I know my blocker law is kind of always a not as good restand law. Uh, we'll tap another one for Bonnie, and then we'll use our last two. And we'll probably take, yep, take back our Zoro. Play down a blocker law, take back our Bonnie, and then replay the Zoro, and swing five at life. I believe he has one card in hand, so he does elect to take this and gets an all-stars trigger, which is really strong. Draw two. Let's go. And we'll pass it back. So now he is at nine dawn. Also, if you're wondering, uh, you know, that's obviously, it's not the normal Nami alt third or just the normal Nami leader in general. I think it's, I forget exactly where it's from, but it's it's one of the metal leaders. It's pretty pretty cool. I like it a lot. He also has some pretty cool Dawn with, uh, I think it's all the Straw Hats if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, we'll probably see it as he uses them. But uh, he has, still has the one Zef. I kind of reestablished my two blockers, so we don't have to be super worried about getting hit with the Zef. Unless he has, you know, answers to both of them now. So he goes five at my Zoro. Me being a, a greedy, greedy player, <laughs> I do take that block with my Law. And, uh, yeah, he, that's good play on him. Good play on him. I got baited. So he taps five. Makes a little bit of room. Plays down another Zeph. Bounces my chopper. Well played, well played. 
It's uh, the mill two off Zeph. Yep, he remembered. Ooh, mill's the manga rare. Come on. <laughs> I love that he's playing that. He's a beast. But, uh, he'll go three dawn on the Zeph he played the other turn and attack me for nine. And uh, I can assure you, I think, again, at this point, my hand is mostly law blockers, so <laughs> I cannot counter out of that. And he gets his mill seven off, which is a little bit scary, but we're kind of fast enough that uh, it should be okay. He also doesn't have a ton of cards in hand, so we're kind of, we're, we're still in a fine spot. And I think uh, that life draw was actually an Otama, which is pretty sweet here, because it kind of lets me trade really well into a Zeph on board. Or at least the rested Zeph. So yeah, you can see, see the Otama right there. We'll tap one for the Otama. Minus two to the Zeph. Put one Dawn on Brook. Attack Zeph for four. Just asking for cards. If not, the rest of our swings get to go into life, which is still good. He will 1k out with a Soga King. We'll go one Dawn on lead, attack Zeph for six. So six and a four, kind of hard to defend, at least with a, uh, you know, low hand size at this point. So we do out that Zeph, still has another one, so we have to be kind of aware of that. I'll use my Bonnie on board. We see a Restand Law, which we just immediately take. That's fair. Kind of just trying to see how much Dawn I have here. Uh, we'll go 5 at life. Looks like he's tapping 1. Plays the Rubber Band of Doom. Mills 1. Mills the Love Love. We'll go 1 Dawn on Law. Attack for 7. He's tapped out now, so 7 is actually a good number. Then he triggers a Pilaf. Draw 2. My god. I use my leader effect. Probably playing down another blocker law, I would imagine. Yeah, we're gonna take back Zoro, play the blocker law, take back Bonnie, replay the Zoro, and I will go eight on Zoro. Just uh, should go through because uh, if he ate the seven uh, at max, like he needs to draw another two K off life. But to be fair, honestly, it might not have gone through because he triggered a peel off, so he could have seen more counters. But we go for it anyway. He's still tapped out. It's a good time to go bigger and he triggers an overheat taking back a Kaya pretty good pretty good and uh, he is getting pretty low in uh, deck I think he counts it right here let me see 6 7 8 10 11 12 13 4 I think he has 14 in, in deck it's like 14 or 16 if I'm remembering correctly and uh, it, get, it ends up getting pretty close he uses a Kaya draw two we can kind of see his hand now I think I saw a gavel and a love love I don't know what else he discards a Bellomir and a Gavel. I believe that's Gavel. Taps another one, plays another Kaya. Draws two. I think we see a Pilaf, and I didn't see his other draw. And he chucks a Love Love, and I think it was another Gavel. Couldn't quite see. He taps three, plays a Pilaf. Okay, okay. So, so far he is what, six cards out of deck, so he should be at eight cards now. Taps another three, plays another peel off, draws another two. We saw Nojiko for a second there. He has two Dawn active. And yeah, just remembering that uh, he did not swing with his leader this turn. And yeah, has six cards in deck. So I think I was right with the 14. And he will tap those two to sack off a... What's that? Sack off Akaya and play the the blocker. It's uh, like the old guy with the dog. It mills one whenever it dies. Uh, I know, again, <laughs> glare right in the middle. It's kind of hard to see. He was like, oh, I forgot to swing. And I was like, yeah, I do have the, the 6k blocker, though. It's all the same. Uh, so we're definitely just going for game now. He has six cards in deck. He is tapped out, though. So we're, we are pretty safe of just, you know, him... Uh, him decking out this turn at least. So I'll go 5 with lead, 5 with Zoro. 
Also, I'm just not seeing it. He forgot to swing with Zeph. I don't know how much of a difference that would have made. But uh, maybe could have at least got a card or two out of my hand. But yeah, we're just swinging with fives and sixes. And then we ended off with a big Otama swing. But uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully I can get more of these Locals videos out. I'll try to deal with the glare. That's my bad. And uh, yeah, go definitely check out my friend again. YouTube. Link in the description. Check him out. Anyways, thank you guys for watching.